In this demonstration, we'll introduce the AdventureWorks DW2008 dimensional model. Throughout this course, you'll be building a reporting and analysis solution based on the existing data warehouse for AdventureWorks. In preparation for creating the solutions, you need to better understand the dimensional model for the sales data. So in this demonstration, you learn how to create a database diagram that you can use to review that dimensional model. We'll use SQL Server Management Studio and connect to the database engine and expand AdventureWorks DW2008 to view the tables that's available there. You can see that there's a folder here for database diagram. If you right click on that folder, you can select the command to create a new database diagram. When you do that, a dialog box for Add Tables uh, displays here, and then we can select the tables that we need to use. So I'm going to select the Product Category and Subcategory tables. I'm also going to select Reseller. Sales Territory, and I need also the date and the factory seller sales. I'll just double click on that to add it. You can also select your tables and click the Add button here. And when you've finished adding in all of your tables, you click Close. And then you can rearrange the windows and change the zoom factor so that you can better see all of the tables in your diagram. You can also use this cursor over here to kind of navigate through the design. You make this smaller and larger. Notice that all of the primary keys and the relationships have been included in your diagram. Once you've created this diagram, then you can save it and refer it to it later. You can also print it off. We're going to save this. So I'll go to the file menu and save the diagram. And we'll give this a name, Reseller Sales. And now that's available to us anytime we need to refer back to this. Of course, this diagram helps us see the relationships between our core fact table as well as the snowflake architecture that we have here from product subcategory to category. We can also see that we have sales territory as a star schema dimension and dim reseller and the dim date. So these aren't all of the dimensions that are associated with fact reseller sales, but these are the ones that we'll be referring to as we build our reporting and analytical solutions throughout this course.